Today, their kids vaccine had what it calls a robust neutralizing antibody response and a favorable safety profile. And for more on what that means, ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell is speaking with doctors and researchers tonight. We have just been kind of waiting on pins and needles for when we can finally get, you know, our youngest daughter vaccinated. Kimberly Pullen has a two year old daughter who's been waiting like many other young children to have access to a COVID vaccine. Because at this point, she's one of the most vulnerable people, you know, in our household. But there's hope on the horizon for parents of younger kids. Today, Moderna shared data for its COVID vaccine in children six months to under six years old. They said that there's not very much, uh, there's no safety issues um, and that really the, the vaccine behaved in the, the kids from six months to six years of age, the same way that it did in uh, the older age group from 18 to 25. The company said most side effects were mild or moderate. This vaccine in children is just a quarter of the dose used for adults. I spoke to U.S. of Health's Dr. Michael Tang on how the immune response looked too. They were getting this vaccine during the Omicron surge and the vaccine as you would expect from the adult data as well, is not that effective against um, Omicron. So in the range of about 40%. Last month, the FDA postponed a review of Pfizer's vaccine for kids under five. Tang also explained why it's still important to get this group vaccinated at this point in the pandemic. We don't know what the pandemic is going to do. I mean, it's sort of defied expectations, but it's pretty clear that as long as we don't have good population immunity across the globe, there are going to be pockets of unvaccinated, unimmune, non-immune people who can transmit the virus. And, and that's, those are the populations where new variants may arise. Moderna says it will submit a request for authorization for children six months to under six years old to the FDA in the coming weeks. Until then, parents like Poland will keep on waiting. The first day, weekend, um, appointment we can get, we will be one of the first in line. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.